Good afternoon. This is Dr. Michael Posner. I'm a physician and surgeon at Starling Physicians and also the chief medical officer. I have an update uh, to share with patients. As everyone knows, we have limited uh, open hours available and we're only treating certain more urgent or emergency problems during the high point of the pandemic. We have at this point resumed fairly normal operations with some caveats that I'll go into. We are now beginning to see uh, fairly routine visits. Uh, this could include routine physicals or rescheduling things that had to be canceled uh, when, when the pandemic was in its height. We have also started resuming preoperative visits. Our proceduralists and surgeons are now doing procedures again at the local surgery center as well as the hospitals. So if you need care uh, that involves surgeries, you can certainly come back in. We can reschedule you if you had to be canceled or new patients requiring surgeries are certainly welcome. I'd also like to point out that we continue to have a lot of telemedicine availability. And although there are certain problems that are best handled in the office, we are also, whenever reasonable, using telehealth and can continue to see you in that regard as well. We're taking every precaution that we reasonably can to keep you uh, safe as well as our staff safe uh, during this time. We are, of course, practicing pretty aggressive hygiene in between patients in terms of cleaning. We're trying to limit the amount of time or potentially keep you out of the waiting room entirely. Uh, in some offices, you can come directly in from your car. And we have a texting platform via our online check-in process that allows us to let you know when you can actually come inside. That allows you to stay further away from other people, other patients. You'll notice that all the staff in the offices are wearing masks and your provider will be wearing masks. Similarly, we're going to ask you to wear a mask the entirety of the time that you're in the office unless some part of your examination precludes that. Um, I think it's important to realize that masks are really uh, preventative for both the person wearing it and the, the other people. So your mask may protect everyone else, uh, including perhaps immunocompromised patients in the office from you if you happen to have COVID and you don't know it. And it'll also protect you as much as possible from other people around you, including patients and the staff in the office. So it's, it's important to wear it both for yourself and for everyone around you. And it's something that we can do together as a society to try and decrease the exposure that everyone has to this. I would make um, a, a plea for people that you do not forget your health while you've been stuck at home with social distancing and the pandemic. One thing that we don't want to happen because of this is that your chronic health problems go unchecked or untreated. So although it was appropriate initially to have a lot of caution about bringing people into the office for things that weren't emergencies, at this point, you really do need to come back and make sure that your other chronic health problems, your blood pressure, your diabetes are all adequately treated and we're here to do that. Our Starling hotline for COVID remains open seven days a week uh, and that's staffed by advanced providers who can help answer questions about COVID or direct you uh, to other resources if necessary. We at Starling want you to remain safe. We think that Connecticut did a good job in dampening the initial upswing in the curve of coronavirus in the state. And we're fortunate in that our hospitals, although very busy, were not overwhelmed. I think it's important, especially going into the summer and the outdoor months for people to realize that they do still have to maintain safe behaviors until vaccines are available, uh, which won't be probably at best until later in the year. So you need to minimize your exposure to the extent that you can. Uh, things to keep in mind, outdoors is safer than indoors. Further away from people is better than not. And anytime you can't maintain roughly the six feet that we talk about between you and people around you, it's safer to wear a mask and for them to wear a mask as well. So you can certainly begin to enjoy things more than we were able to over the last two months. And we're doing a lot better, but keep in mind that uh, it's not behind us completely yet and we need to continue to act responsibly, which has been well done in the state of Connecticut.